So what the heck is hardware accelerated GPU scheduling? Now, people online are calling this HAGS for short because it's a, it's a mouthful. So what HAGS is, it basically takes the high priority task that the CPU would normally do and pushes it to the GPU. In theory, putting more load on the GPU and reducing input lag is super useful as well if you're running older hardware. HAGS was introduced in a later update on Windows 10. I've done multiple tests on different games. I'm only going to show three here though. It'll give you a clear idea of how it operates. I'm using MSI Afterburner to show you the CPU and GPU usage. Links in the description down below if you want to download. All right, we're going to do a test on three games. The Division 2, Call of Duty Warzone, and God of War. We're going to start with being CPU bound first on the Division 2. Everything on low. And I'm at 720p. If you want to see this in real time, just slow down the video like by two times. With GPU scheduling off here, you're going to notice these weird stutters that happen. And this only happens when it's CPU bound. With HAGS on, the stuttering is completely taken away. So you'll notice that the GPU and CPU usage is lower with GPU scheduling on. Now I'm gonna do a GPU bound test, but um, I did run the benchmark with that. I just didn't wanna bore you with the whole thing running. So I'll show you at the end, but I wanted to do a test running around here cause I noticed I was getting this weird stuttering running in certain parts in the game. And it happened here at this base. I'll pay attention to the CPU temperatures and usage. That's where you'll see the spikes happen. And this happens with GPU scheduling on oh, no, though, it's strange. I guess the why this is happening is because there's not enough GPU to use for the scheduling. So it's struggling. So it's it's bouncing back and forth through CPU, GPU. That's my guess. But here you go. Here's the benchmark test. GPU bound, same results with the GPU being lower with GPU scheduling on. Well, now I'm gonna move on to Warzone. It's gonna be CPU bound again. I noticed that with GPU scheduling on being CPU bound, I am getting more frame rate. Now it's not a bunch, but it's more stable. In my testing, it feels more stable than having GPU scheduling off. And leave a comment down below and let me know how your experience with HAGS, if it's good or bad. I'd like to know, I read all my comments. You'll see some gameplay of on the ground. Seems about the same. It's not going to be the same in terms of frame rate because there's too many variables. I didn't drop in the same spot. Stuff like that. Just, just ground gameplay. Reinforcements are on the way. Now this is with GPU scheduling on being GPU bound this time. What you'll notice here is that I'm getting more frame rate with GPU scheduling off at certain points in the game. There you saw a dip, but it levels out and I do get more frame rate when I'm on the ground with GPU scheduling off. Being GPU bound. No, this is God of War, but CPU bound. And this is where I found the biggest difference with GPU scheduling being on. Now, the CPU usage is at 100%, as you can see here. And with GPU scheduling off, this thing was stuttering like crazy. Like, to the point where it was unplayable for me. You can see the frame rate dipping below 100 FPS. And that's where the stutterings are dropping in. Now, for God of War, I only did the CPU bound test. There's no GPU bound test for this one. Now, can HAGS help you out? It depends on your situation and what hardware you're using. If you're running at 100% CPU usage in certain games, it can help 100%. And as you see from the results of my tests, if you're GPU bound, it's better to have GPU scheduling off from my testing. You won't get that weird stuttering because you have a pretty good CPU that can handle everything being pushed at it. If you have a high-end CPU and GPU combination on your PC, I recommend keeping GPU scheduler off. You'll probably find little to no benefit from it, but that's subjective because everybody's hardware is different. Even though I'm saying that if you have a high-end CPU and GPU combination, you should still give HAGS a shot. If you're having issues, you know, just turn it off. Online, people are having issues, certain programs with HAGS on, just turn it off.
you know tags being on is also useful for people who upgraded their gpu but want to wait to upgrade their cpu that's a low-end cpu god of war was the worst offense of all the games i've tested at 100 percent cpu usage I was stuttering like timmy from south park Stay back. i'm going to show you where you can go and find this setting and i am on windows 11 and it's already available on windows 11. What to do is head to the start i do it this way but i just start typing graphics then graphics setting will pop up it should be around there and then i'll select change default graphic settings and then you you're going to see hardware accelerated gpu schedule here turn it on and then restart your pc um you can also go to system display graphics and that'll be right there the first one but i hope i simplified it for you if you want you can check out my next video right here I'll catch you in the next one. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself and be safe.